We've got some breaking news from the MCU today, and of course I have to cover it, being the big Marvel fan that I am. What would I be if I did not cover this? This is absolutely huge. Let's just dive right on in. It was reported today. It is official. Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch, is joining Spider-Man 3 in a very significant role. He's going to fill that void of Tony Stark and being a mentor to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Ooh, and I do have my theory of what role he's going to play in building this multiverse. So just, just hang with me for a second. All right. But before we get into the building of the multiverse, I think it's very significant that Doctor Strange is the one that is joining to be the mentor. Because if you think about it, we don't have Captain America. Our Black Panther passed away. Thor, eh, I wouldn't see him doing that. There was rumors, I guess, of Deadpool or some of the X-Men coming over, but that didn't really seem logical to me. With Doctor Strange, there might be a little bit of resentment on Tom Holland's part Spider-Man towards Doctor Strange because of what happened in the events of Endgame with Tony Stark's passing. It was Doctor Strange that gave him the time stone that, you know, you're the one, the one lifting up the fear, this whole thing. You can kind of easily put it on, you know, Doctor Strange's shoulders like it's kind of your fault. So I think they have some unresolved feelings, at least on Spider-Man's part. He needs to, you know, hash out with Doctor Strange and then they can move on. I don't know who seeks out who. I'm not sure if Spider-Man goes to him or Doctor Strange goes to Spider-Man. Not really sure how that's all going to go down. I'm kind of interested in learning what goes on there. But I think that is going to be a very important healing process. And then we can move on and in getting into our multiverse. So let's get into the multiverse talk. As we know, Kevin Feige, our Marvel puppet master, is pulling the strings and making this multiverse happen. All of us fans are super excited about it. We want Toby and Andrew back with Tom Holland going into multiverses and this building of the Sinister, Sinister Six. This is what's going on. And then we can't forget Doctor Strange's movie, Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness. This is how we knew we were getting all of this. But I didn't think, I don't think we thought to the extent of what Kevin Feige is actually building. It's, it's pretty incredible what he's doing. It's pretty incredible. So let's talk a little bit about what I think is going to happen, why Doctor Strange is the key. So as we know, or if you don't know, WandaVision, which is going to be on Disney Plus in December, that is going to kick this whole thing off. Something's going to happen. She's going to, op I guess, open up the multiverse or she's going to start the whole thing. However, I think Doctor Strange is going to be the key in Spider-Man 3 by doing his little portal, his little portal situation, and boom, that's when it's going to happen. Our Spider-Men are going to cross paths in the multiverses, and that is, a, is how everything is going to happen. I was kind of wondering, well, how is this multiverse going to happen? This is why I think Doctor Strange is the key. This is why we need him. Every Avenger has their own special power for something. And this is why Doctor Strange is here. This is why he is going to be very significant. So this is going to be his role. And as we know, Spider-Man 3, we are building up the Sinister Six. Scorpion's going to be in there. Electro is coming in. I did not report this before, but Jamie Foxx is returning as Electro. And as we know, or maybe you don't know, he wasn't really that great in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But I will give him a second chance. I will be open-minded. Hopefully he can do something better with the character. And just fine-tune everything. Fine-tune it for us. But this is extremely exciting of what's happening. And then, as I said, we will be going into Doctor Strange 2, the multiverse of madness, where Wanda, Scarlet Witch, is going to be making her very significant role again in that movie. Not sure if Tom Holland will make an appearance there. Not sure. I don't think so. I think it's going to concentrate on Doctor Strange and Wanda. But then there is talk that there's going to be the multiverse of the Avengers. So I can't wait. This is very exciting news, guys. Let me know down below what you think of all of this. Did you get all of that? It's it's It seems like it's very confusing, but man, 
us Marvel fans, we are just so excited because Kevin Feige is built like he builds the Marvel universe like nobody else. Let me tell you, this is why DC really needs to pick up their game and they need to move the Batman because compared to Doctor Strange 2, it ain't going to be nothing. I want to see it and everything, but oh, it's really going to hurt. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you excited about this news? Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.